Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I want to show you uh, how you can set up by Revit uh, environment to suit, for example, for you as an individual or for your company, um, in order to run the scripts, either Dynamo scripts or native Python scripts from uh, your own tabs. So one company reached and they told me that uh, they already using PyRevit and they want from me to create uh, two different scripts. One needs to be a fully Python script uh, and it should move uh, some pipes. Um, and the second can use uh, Dynamo packages uh, and that's it basically. And the subject of this video, it's not the code of those scripts. I cannot show you or I cannot resell those scripts to you, but I want to show you how you can set up uh, your own environment and how to use uh, PyRevit in order to improve your efficiency and just to show you that you can use PyRevit beside uh, the original PyRevit tools. And before I show you how to create this uh, panel, tab, extension and so on, uh, just to show you uh, over here that we have actually two different scripts. This is a Dynamo script, so uh, when I run this script, uh, it will actually run the Dynamo, and Dynamo will then run this script. As you can see over here, this script uses Data Shapes uh, custom package. Inside that script, I think that the script also uses Archilab package. So in order to run Dynamo script through PyRevit, you will again need to install custom packages that are required by the script. Of course, uh, if you want, you can uh, rewrite this entire script to uh, be a Python script. It will run efficiently. Uh, you will lose dependency of the custom packages. But of course, if you already have some 20 Dynamo scripts, it will take time for you to uh, rewrite those scripts. So, can you run Dynamo scripts from the PyRevit? Yes, you can. Will the old scripts work? It will work. So, over here, uh, again, I cannot resell those scripts to you and I cannot show you the code, but we can check uh, over here just the functionality. So you need to select some base pipes um, and the pipes that you want to move and you need to type re required distance and basically that is it. Uh, you have over here the difference in the height, but mm, it doesn't matter, it, uh, this required distance will be only uh, as x, y distance for the pipes. For example, I don't know, we can select all of them, but again, the scripts are not subject in this video. So now you have uh, required distance. Also, if you want to move just two different pipes, uh, the script over here does not use uh, user interface. Uh, you will see when I run the script that is a Python script uh, it is not a Dynamo script, uh, it does not require any custom packages, it runs as a Python script, and uh, the client uh, decided that for this script uh, the user interface is not needed, uh, the idea behind the script is to be as simple as possible uh, in order for users to actually use them. So when I click on this script, uh, in the status bar you will see the message, So uh, it says select base pipe. So for example, we can say that this is a base pipe. Then uh, we will have a message uh, select movable pipe. And then the script will perform basically the same what the first script does. And inside this Python script, you have that required distance. You can, if you want, set it to be something else. Uh, what is also a good thing to know, uh, you can set up uh, shortcuts. Uh, so now the trick how you can set up the keyboard shortcuts for your own commands either from PyRevit or for your own tab uh, is just to find keyboard shortcuts. So you probably know that for the Revit you need to go to the view, user interface, keyboard shortcuts or if you want to use a keyboard shortcut to go to that keyboard shortcut dialog you just need to type KS. And now, in order to quickly find your own commands, you can use filter over here, and you can go to this company tab, and then you will see uh, your, push, uh, your push buttons or your commands that 
uh, you did bring to this uh, tab. Uh, so you can also type some shortcut. So now when we go over here, when we uh, hover over the uh, icon, you will see that we did create a shortcut. So now with the shift one, again, we have a status message, select the base pipe and so on and so on. That is it. Uh, yes, what is very convenient is also to create a shortcut uh, for this reload. So uh, when you create some script and you want to test it and for some reason, maybe that script will not work. It is very convenient to have a shortcut for this reload because when you change the code, you will need to reload PyRevit in order for PyRevit to reload whatever you uh, have as a change in your your own scripts. Um, so okay, now let's see uh, what we need to do in order to have our own tab and our own um, scripts over here. So first things first, uh, in the PyRevit you will need to add a folder and that folder need to have dot extension. So somewhere uh, in your hard drive or if you and your colleagues need to use uh, that same script, uh, it is then more convenient to uh, place this folder um, on the server, on your local area network. Uh, but nevertheless, either your local hard drive or server, uh, you need to place somewhere that folder and that folder needs to have a dot extension in the name. Then, because we want to create a tab panel and the buttons, you need to have uh, also a folder with a point tab. I did put over here company, but you can type whatever you want. Is that your name or the name of your company? It can be anything. Just on the end, it uh, needs to be point extension and point tab. Then uh, for um, your commands, uh, for each of them you will need to have some name and point uh, panel. Then you will also need to have this YAML file. So okay, uh, now just for you to see. So this file over here will took whatever you type as a name of those uh, panels uh, and you can see that those panels are now visible over here in the Revit. Then if we go further, for example, uh, move many pipes, now for that uh, command we need to have a, pu uh, a push button. Uh, for push button, we need to have what uh, that button will do. Over here, uh, you can see that we have uh, the name of that script. It needs to have underscore script uh, and this dynamo. Uh, so over here, you can see that this push button will actually run this dynamo script. Of course, uh, you need to create some kind of icon. It is a PNG file and again, you will uh, have this YAML file. In this file, you will need to say what is the title, uh, basically to describe what is the purpose of your command. You can put who is the author and also if you want some hyperlink. And when you hover over that command, you will see, you will see some of that uh, text which we did uh, store in that YAML file. And then it is the same story for that other script, it is a move one pipe, uh, it is a Python file, we have an icon and also again we have some description, name and a hyperlink. And finally the thing which I didn't show you is how you will add that folder uh, into the Revit. So when you go to the PyRevit, you need to click over here on the PyRevit with the arrow and you need to go to the settings. And now in order to add that folder, you will need to go over here, add folder, and you need to find your folder, click on the select folder, and it will be shown over here. Then you'll need to click on save settings and reload. 
and then if you do everything right uh, that tab and panels and push buttons will appear that is it thank you for watching bye